and here we are, another D3 tutorial. So this one's a little bit shorter. This one's how to rotate your camera around an object. So if you see, if I make multiple objects, right? Say there's a few over here, there's a few close to the camera. And then I select this one. My camera rotates around that object, opposed to the direct center. And this is really easy when you're modeling around and you're then you're working on this and then you can just click on that cube, you know, position in the mi middle, zoom in, and then rotate around it. So wh where that is, is in your preferences, under edit, preferences, go to navigation, and then your camera mode is object. It, by default, I believe it's either center or cursor, which, if you can see, you know, I want to rotate around that, and I rotate around this cursor. So I have to, like, position the cursor, some weird angle, and then rotate around it, or, like, guess where it is, that, and then rotate around that. And then if it's center, like, you know, I'll click this object and I'm just like screwed because now I'm on the other side of my, you know, I can be on the other side of a, a world or a planet or my map that I'm making or my model. And I feel like it's just easier when it's under object. Because even if you have a complex model, you know, I can click a point to a uh, polygon. Which one is that? Right here that I have selected and I can rotate around it. And I, f I feel like it's just easier to work with. So that's where it is. You go to preferences, navigation, camera mode, and just click object. And then I use the rever reverse orbit and uh, that's just my own preference. It's what I've learned and uh, stuck with it. And one more thing. So when you set your preferences, you want to go to, you know, object, or file, save as, type in new, and then you want to go into your project files where your Cinema 40 is, and then just drop in a, uh, a new dot, you know, Cinema 40 file. So when this opens, this has your presets. So Cinema 40 goes into here to look for that new file that has your presets already installed. And then it opens up for that. So when you go, you know, to edit preferences, it's already there. So it may not start Cinema 40 with your preferences you set. So that's how to fix it. And again, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next tutorial.